go spend the day at your cousin Robert's ranch in the country. You've got to be joking. No, I'm not. Isn't that wonderful? It's more like a disaster. You know I don't want to go over there. What am I supposed to do all day? Smell flowers? <laughs> uh, uh, excuse us, Toki. Yeah. We got to be gone, yeah. man. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. Imagine that poor guy spending the whole day in the country. What would you do? Nothing. <laughs> I just wouldn't go if I was invited to the country. That's all there is to it. Yeah. Oh, you're prejudiced. It's a lot of fun in the country, too, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Leah, do it. Ah, uh, hello? Toby? Yeah, he's right here. Just a minute, please. Toby, it's for you. It's your mom. <laughs> Oh, hi, Mom. You what? And you said I'd go? How could you? All right. I'll be home right away. Bye. What happened? What happened? I can't Tell believe me. it. What's wrong? My mom accepted an invitation for me to spend the day in the country at my cousin's ranch. <laughs> <laughs> what a drag! Oh, How could boy. this happen to me? I'm glad it did. Now you'll find out what you've been missing. Yeah. <laughs> Happy <laughs> people come together, let your light shine Sharing up with one another, let your light shine Let no difference grow between you, let your light shine Let your spirit grow between you, let your light shine well, Let it shine, 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 come on and let your light shine well, Let it shine, 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 come on and let your light shine well, Let it shine, 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 come on and let your light shine well, Let it shine Smell flowers. <laughs> You're not being fair. Sure, there are a lot of things in the city that you can't get in the country, but the country has a lot of neat things that you can't get in the city. Toby. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's go see Dirk and see if he can knock some sense into that concrete city head of yours. <laughs> we'll go, but it's not going to change anything. I know he's going to have a rotten day out there. Yeah. 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 Yes, he loves us all the same. City. Uh, neither. Neither? Yeah, that's right. 
I just think that no matter where in God's world you live, you should just make the most of what you've been given. Scott, would you turn on the TV, please? This cartoon will help you to understand. Hooray! The kingdom of heaven is like the manager of a company who was going away on a long trip. He called together his employees and gave them money to invest for him while he was gone. He gave $5,000 to one, $2,000 to another, and $1,000 to the third. They were each paid according to their abilities. The boss then hurried away on his trip. The woman who received the $5,000 immediately went to work buying and selling and soon earned another $5,000. The man with $2,000 also went right to work and he too doubled his money. But the one who received $1,000 just hid it in a safety deposit box. After a long time, their boss returned. He called his workers in to give an account of his money. The woman who was trusted with $5,000 brought him $10,000. Her boss praised her for her good work. You have been faithful in handling this small amount. As of today, you have a promotion in the company. Next came the man who had received the $2,000. Sir, he said, I have also doubled what you gave me. Now here's $4,000. Good work. You too have been faithful over this small amount, so I'll give you a promotion. When the person with the $1,000 came to the boss, she said, Sir, there was so much happening around here, I just didn't have time to do anything with your money except hide it in a safety deposit box. But at least you have your $1,000 back. Big deal. You're just too lazy to work. You should have at least put my money into the bank so I could get interest on it. Your money will now be given to the woman with the $10,000, and you can consider yourself fired. The person who uses well what she is given shall have abundance. But the person who cannot be trusted, even what he has will be taken away. There is no room for a lazy person in any place. So it is wise to use our talents to the best of our ability. And God will reward us for it. Thanks. I uh, made it up myself. Yeah, sure. You did not. Just when you say something right, then you have to go and show off. Oh, rats. Showing off again. I'm so embarrassed. Never mind, Egbert. We all make mistakes. You were right when you said neither the country or the city was better. We're all in this world together. Yeah. Right. Hey, somebody. Good idea. Hey, oh,
little better now. Yeah. Well, what can we do while we wait? Let's watch the craft and see what Marcy is making down at Kaleidoscope. Good yeah. idea. Yeah. Hey, Scott, get the TV, will you please? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. I can't All right. wait. Yeah. 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 Kaleidoscope. Yeah. <laughs> Paper. Sue, let's get started. Okay, what you need to make our accordion animals today is two strips of paper. Now we're using construction paper here, and I've done it in black and white just to show you so you can see it better. What you do is you take them off the corners and you glue it down. Okay, we'll put a bit of glue there. And you hold it firmly. And to start, you take, let's say, start with the black and you fold it over right across the white. And then you take the white and you fold it over the black. And you press down the side. And then you bring the back, the black back over. And you continue going until it's finished. Now, some of the animals that we've made here, there's this caterpillar. He's a short one. And we've added construction legs to the side, construction ears, and a nose, I mean a face, onto the front. Now this little one is a long one. We've just painted on the front of his face. You can make them any size, any shape. Very simple to do. There you go. That's how you do it. Thanks, Sue. That was fun. If you'd like instructions for today's craft, Take. write us and ask. Bye for now. Bye. 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 Yeah, that was fun. Good idea, Janice. Yeah. Well, I wonder where they're, how they're getting along down with, with Dirk. Don't worry. Dirk will take care of them. Yeah. Right on. That's, That's right. 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 Yeah. outside today. I wish I could take a ride in the country. Oh, I was thinking of that. Would you like that, Vince? Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Like Hello, Dirk. Yeah. You know how funny. Hi, Hi, Dirk. Hi, Hi gang. How are you? Hello. Pretty good. 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 Poor Toby. What a way to wreck your day. You could say that again. Yeah. But you're not being fair. Well, what hold on that? here. What happened to Toby? Is he hurt? Well, sort of. Oh. Don't be so prejudiced. Well, it's like this, Dirk. Today, he had the misfortune of visiting the country at his cousin's ranch. <laughs> <laughs> You're not fair. Well, now, Danny Jane is right, you know. Are you kidding? No. It's obvious that none of you hecklers have ever been to the country. And I'm going to tell you a story about a bunch of kids who are acting just like you. <laughs> Once it was a gang of city slicker kids who had never been beyond the signs of the city limits. And why should we? This is where it's all happened. Yeah, yeah right. right. But have any of you ever visited the country? No way. Why should we? We got no plans to. It's only a waste of time. Yeah. What will we do all day? Smell flowers? <laughs> You're not being fair. Sure, there are great things about city life that you'll never find in the country, but the country has things to offer that you'll never get in the city. Yeah, we know. So what's so great about smelling like a hog? Yeah. 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 yeah, Mom, you've just been invited to go spend the day at your cousin Robert's ranch in the country. You've got to be joking. No, I'm not. Isn't that wonderful? It's more like a disaster. You know I don't want to go over there. What am I supposed to do all day? Smell flowers? <laughs> uh, uh, excuse us, Tom. Yeah. We gotta be gone, yeah. man. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. the country smell Toby, you're not being fair. Now get on your bike and go. You're gonna love it. How boring. I know I'm gonna hate this. See you guys.
When Toby arrived at the ranch, to his surprise, it was far from boring. Hi, you must be Toby. I'm Robert. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. What's going on here today? We're having a rodeo. Are you in it? Oh, yeah. Come on, let's go. All right. Come on, you guys. Go to the arena. Yeah. at different rodeos around the country. Wow, I'd sure like to learn to ride. How long are you staying? I told my mom I'd be back tonight. Why don't you call and see if you can stay the weekend? Then we can get started. Sure. There's a phone right there. I'll let you call. Okay. to be, but the country's got things to offer you'll never find in the city living. Hey, Ma, can I stay for the weekend? They asked me. I want to learn to ride. Thanks, Ma. And hey, Ma, if you see the boys, tell them Toby says, stop and smell the flowers. Bye, Ma. Yippee! Well, suit yourself. I can't convince you, but you'll have to excuse Vince and me. We have an important appointment to keep. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. With who? Flowers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're going for a drive in the country as soon as we're through here. Uh -huh. So, oh. we'll see you later. I Bye. I can't believe it. Bye. 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 <laughs> on. I really wasn't interested, but as I grew older, I started to watch it again. Oh, and now I really like it. Your stories and cartoons really tell me things that I need to know. They give me a better understanding of what God wants from me. Your songs have a real message, too. Love, Lynette. And here's another letter from Elaine Stalter. It says, Dear Circle Square, I watch your show when I'm able. I heard of your program by my brother. I'm 10 years old, 
From watching your program on jealousy, it helped me in handling my problem with jealousy mm -hmm. and people being unkind. Oh, so right. Right. Yeah. 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 I learn a lot from each program. Please send me a songbook so that I can sing along with you. Your friend, Elaine Stalter. Oh, a good letter, eh? If you'd like instructions for today's craft or a free Circle Square songbook, let us know, because we really want to hear from you. your day, Danny Jane, just because we don't agree with you. No. Yeah, Danny Jane. The only thing that could convince me that Toby could have a good time in the country is if he called himself and said so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fine. And listen, don't worry about me being angry. Nothing can spoil this happy day. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Toby? It's Toby. Uh, <clears throat> hey, Toby, how's it going? Are you having a good time? Well, really, that's why I've called. Would you mind leaving a message for the guys that I won't see him for a couple of days? I'm having too much fun to come home just yet. Country living is great. Really? Oh, yeah, Egbert, give him one more message. Tell him for me, Toby says. Stop and smell the flowers. <laughs> okay, I will. Bye. Bye. I wonder what he meant by that. I don't believe it. See? 